Okay, so moving right along with the fragrance collection, this is part two. Um, this is Lamal from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, I've had this fragrance pretty much ever since it's been out. Um, this isn't the original bottle. Um, I haven't worn this fragrance in a long, long time, but of course I kept it because of the bottle, because the bottle is so unique. And um, I think it was like a first of its kind to be shaped like this. So um, that's Lamal. Then there is Rasha Man. I have done a video on this review already, and it's under Guy Gourmand Sense. It's like the third or fourth video I did, so it's way down there on the list. Um, still have this one. Love that. Um, from David Beckham, Intimately Beckham. I've also reviewed this one as well. This bottle I actually got before it was in the U.S. Didn't know if it was coming here or not, so I picked it up in either Thailand or Australia, and I think it was Thailand. So, that's Intimately Beckham. Also from David Beckham, uh, Beckham Signature. I also did a review on this one as well, along with the women's version of this. Still have that guy. And let's see, from Dolce & Gabbana, we have the one. <clears throat> also did a review on this one. I think this review is my highest rated review uh, of any that I've done. I linked it up to uh, the uh, TV commercial with Matthew McConaughey. It's found one of them on YouTube and linked my video up with it, and that's how I got all the extra exposure on that one was by doing that. Um, from Miller Harris, the Tabak set. Also done a review on this one as well. From Bulgari. Just one of the Bulgaris that I have. This is Blue Note. This is a tester because it doesn't have the right cap on it. So that's Blue Note. Um, from Yope. This is Rococo. This is another one of his fragrances that never made it to the U.S. for whatever reason. I haven't worn this one in a long, long time. I think this one has teak wood, if I remember correctly, in that. It's Rococo from Yope. And from Kenzo, we've got uh, Kenzo Tokyo. And... The bottle has got the city lights of Tokyo splashed on it. At least that's what it was supposed to be. And the box has it as well. I don't have the box for it because it's a tester box and there's no picture on it. So that's Tokyo from Kenzo. And then one of my favorite fragrances of all time, and I still have it, is Opium for Men and the Eau de Parfum. Uh, this was discontinued. And this bottle is 12 or 14 years old. I checked it a couple of weeks ago, and it still smells the way I remember it. Still smells right. Smells good. However, with it being as old as it is, I know I don't have much time left with it. And um, it's vanilla bourbon in the base on this one. And oh my gosh, I love it. It just... That was a fine fragrance. Now, I have seen um, the Eau de Toilette version of this at Nordstrom Rack, and I believe Perfume Mania. Um, I think that's all that you can get in it now is just the Eau de Toilette. And um, love this. This was a refillable bottle. The bottom popped out, or popped off, and this dropped out, and you put another one in it. But that, this has been one of my favorites. This is like in the, the top, top, top slots. It comes in right after uh, one million for me and Yope, and then this one. I mean, they're all three so so close and so good to me. So um, yeah, I need to start using this because there's plenty left, and I just don't know how much longer that's gonna last. So that's opium for men. So that's everything I had stored away in this one box, and then um, we'll get to um, those uh, fragrances behind me on those two or two shelves back there and whatever is around the house. So um, that's all I have for now. And oh yeah, yeah. Um, the the fragrance swap thing that's going on uh, that that Tim got going. 
Um, it's a great idea. However, I don't think there's really anything that I have. I've gotten a couple of messages on swapping this or that. Uh, at this point, there's really nothing I have that I don't think I'm going to would part with. Um, but, you know, message me and, and, and we'll see. And stuff that I'm looking for, um, it, probably nobody in the U.S. is going to have it. So, you know, I'm looking for things that aren't here. Uh, only a couple of things. So, um, you know, I, anything that's available here in the U.S., I, I pretty much have what I want. Uh, for the most part, except for maybe a couple of Bond number no. nine fragrances and you know, some some like that, but um, all the mainstream stuff, I've got all the mainstream stuff that I want, so I'm good there. But um, yeah, I mean, definitely ask. But most likely, I probably, especially what you've been seeing in the collection videos, I'm probably not going to part with any of it. But anyhow. Um, good luck swapping and uh, thanks for watching.